you work at a prostitution unit of the Stockholm police. Can you tell me what makes the Swedish approach to sex trafficking uh, so unique? Well, uh, our most uh, important tool to fight sex trafficking is the so-called sex purchase law, which was introduced uh, in 1999. It's simply a, uh, it's, it's a simple law. It criminalizes the buying of sex, but not the selling of sex, which means we focus on the demand side because we believe that if it weren't for the sex buyers uh, we wouldn't have this problem because um, as i used to say the big problem in this is not the traffickers and the pimps the big problem is that we are having men who are willing to pay for sexual services and we have to focus on the root cause uh, that without uh, the demand we would have have no, no trafficking and have no prostitution you have just mentioned uh, the law from 1999. What has been the impact so far? Well, we can see that uh, the, um, the amount of, of persons in prostitution in Sweden has drastically been decreasing. Back in the 70s, we had, w 70s, we had about 3,000 persons in prostitution. In 1998, the Social Welfare Board uh, estimated that we had about 2,500 persons in prostitution. And today, we, we do agree that we have about 1,000 persons in prostitution. Uh, street prostitution in Stockholm, for example, uh, we have about 10 to 15 women walking the streets of Stockholm each night. And it's a county with 2 million inhabitants. So, so I, what I can say is that prostitution and trafficking is not a big problem in Sweden anymore. We do have it, yes, but it is not a big problem anymore because, uh, much because of the sex purchase law, because the traffickers think that Sweden is not a good country to establish themselves. We've had the wiretapping, phone tapping, where we, we can hear the, the, the traffickers speaking with each other, saying that Sweden is a bad country. Even if we don't get arrested, the police will come and arrest the, the, the sex buyers and we will not get our money. So it, the sex purchase law is, is definitely uh, a big reason wh why we have um, succeeded to, to, to drop uh, prostitution and trafficking. Is there anything that could be improved in your system? I think uh, one of our challenges in the future is to is to um, uh, is, is the social perspective to take better care of the vic victims because um, uh, we have uh, women coming from other countries and 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 they need to be included in the social welfare system. They are not today, so we need to focus more on the social uh, perspective, how to take care of, of women coming from, from other uh, countries to Sweden. Th that's one of our biggest challenges.